grated carrot salad, known as carotte râpé in France, is a common side dish in Argentina. Although the idea of a salad without lettuce seems a bit weird to people in the United States, it's actually really delicious. If you're looking for a new, easy, healthy side dish recipe, keep watching. Making grated carrot salad is really easy. All you need are some carrots and a box grater. You could definitely use a food processor, but in my opinion, once you consider how long it will take you to clean the food processor, just doing it by hand with a box grater is actually less quilombo. If you don't have a box grater, I highly suggest that you get one. They're never really expensive. I use this not only for grating carrots for this salad, but also for shredding cheese when I make my baked macaroni and cheese or my southern tomato pie. If you buy pre-shredded cheese, it's coated with some anti-caking agent. I think it's usually cornstarch, but it might be something else. Even though that makes it easier to sprinkle it over something, like if you're making tacos and you want to sprinkle some cheese over your tacos, it affects the meltability. So for example, with the baked macaroni and cheese or the tomato pie, it won't melt the same way as if you grate it by hand. So make sure you invest in a box grater. All you have to do is take some carrots. Honestly, I think it's easier with bigger carrots, but this is what they had at the store. And I like to either cut or snap off the tip because I think if you have a flatter edge here, it's easier to grate. I do not peel the carrots. You can if you want. I just wash them and then dry them. And all I literally do is I just grate them like this. Grate them on the box grater like that. And I make sure that you have a plate underneath the box grater. You want to have a plate that is wider than the base of the box grater so that the plate can catch all of the shreds of carrot. I first learned about this salad in Bariloche. Uh, city in southern Argentina because I went to a restaurant that served chicken with a salad that was lettuce, tomato, and carrot. And one day when I went there, the woman working at the counter said that they didn't have any lettuce. And to me, I was like, a salad without lettuce? That's kind of weird. And so I said, okay, then I'll just go with carrot. And I was not expecting much, but when I tried it, I was like, wow, this is really good. It was one of the most delicious things I had ever had. And I was like, man, I need to find out what the secret is. So then the next day, I ordered the same thing, and I made sure to stand by the counter so that I could watch her. And I watched her in the back of this restaurant grating these carrots by hand, and I saw her put lemon juice, olive oil, and salt on the carrots, and I was like, wow, that's it? That's delicious. So it's amazing how delicious simple things can be. So that is how easy it is to grate carrots. I'm gonna do a little bit more than this off camera, and then I will show you how to dress it. I finished grating the two carrots that were here along with one other one. So here are the grated carrots. And when you use a box grater like this, you're going to have a lot of shredded carrot left inside. So be sure to get what's inside out of there. The easiest way to clean this, and don't forget the front as well, the easiest way to clean this, I think, is to clean it right after you're finished using it because once the carrots dry, it's a lot harder to clean. I usually just run it under a little bit of water or use a towel to just clean it like this. Like I said, easier to clean it now 
when everything is still kind of moist before it dries. Now I'm going to move on to the next step, dressing the grated carrot salad. And now it's time to dress the grated carrot salad. I have half a cup of the shredded carrots here and like I said earlier, I'm going to dress them with some lemon juice, olive oil, and salt. Usually I just do this by taste. So what I'll do is I'll first do it by taste and then I'll try to do a second batch and give you more precise measurements. So all you have to do is take a little bit of lemon juice. Let's take out this lemon seed here. Sprinkle it over the carrots like that. Then a little bit of olive oil. Even though a vinaigrette is usually one part acid to three parts oil, I would say I might use equal parts. And then a little bit of salt. Mix it together. I think I was a little too conservative there. So now I'm adding a little bit more lemon juice and a little more salt. The idea of this carrot salad is that it is lightly dressed. You don't want it to be swimming in a dressing. It's not a coleslaw or a potato salad or anything like that. But at the same time, you definitely want it to have a little bit of shine to it. And you want to have some flavor. So I think that's probably what we want. Mix it up. I will give it a taste. Maybe a little more lemon. So like I said, this is to taste. I'll see if I can give you more exact measurements. Good. Instead of doing that, what you can do is instead of the lemon juice, you could do red wine vinegar. That's a French version. I don't think I've seen that in Argentina. And one of my friends from Argentina, instead of doing the lemon juice, olive oil, and salt, he will just do a little bit of apple cider vinegar and salt, like I said, with no oil. I really like that. I think that's good. A lot of things you can do with this. It's just very versatile. So now I'm going to see if I can come up with a more exact measurement. For exact measurements, I would start with half of a cup of packed shredded carrots, about 70 grams. I then made a simple vinaigrette of two teaspoons olive oil and two teaspoons lemon juice with about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. As you can see from the small glass jar, I didn't use all of the lemon vinaigrette, maybe 80 to 90%. Because like I said earlier, the idea of the shredded carrot salad is for the carrots to be lightly coated in the dressing, not to be swimming in it. Although I added a little bit more lemon juice, I think that for a half of a cup of shredded carrots, two teaspoons of olive oil and two teaspoons of lemon juice is a good starting point if you've never made this before. This shredded carrot salad can be made ahead of time as well. If you want to shred the carrots without putting on the dressing, make sure that you wrap them up in some plastic wrap and then tie it. You could also go ahead and put the dressing on this shredded carrot salad ahead of time. Just put it in a bowl, cover it with plastic, and put it in the refrigerator. This is really delicious, so I'm not sure how long it would last, but I've eaten it 24 hours later and it's perfectly fine. This grated carrot salad is a perfect side dish. You will see it served at a lot of Argentine meals when the side dish is really just that, a side dish. Not wanting to take attention away from the main star of the show, such as when you're eating a steak dinner. 
If you want a bit more color, you could also grate beets on a cheese grater. Although they're a bit harder to grate, a grated beet salad is just as delicious as a grated carrot salad. For some reason, I feel like they require more lemon juice than the carrots, but if you play around with it a bit, I'm sure you'll find the amount of dressing that you like. Although I'm not 100% certain as to the origin of this shredded carrot salad, shredded carrot salad also exists in France, so my guess is that it was introduced to Argentina by French immigrants. As you can see from this map of the 1914 census in Argentina, up to 5% of a fair number of provinces population was born in France. Although not as numerous as the Spanish or the Italians, French immigrants to Argentina have been very successful in areas such as soccer, rugby, business, and entertainment. They also left their mark on Argentine cuisine, so you'll be seeing more French influence in the near future. There are carrot salads in other cultures around the world as well, such as a version in Southern Asia with cumin and a Moroccan version with raisin. There's also a version that originates with ethnic Koreans within the Soviet Union and now is popular in countries that were part of the Soviet Union. Who knew that something so simple could be so complicated? Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. For more information about Argentinian food and southern recipes, please visit my website parnaldechef.com and be sure to follow me on social media. Right now, I'm most active on Twitter and Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!